Today I'm gonna to show you how to make pork tenderloin with a peach tomato sauce. Let's go. So now I'm gonna show you how to make a pork tenderloin. Of course you can do one, but here's the thing in terms of meal prep, let's do two. We're gonna salt and pepper it. And by the way, I'm gonna do it on the grill, but you can absolutely do this in the oven. I like to do it right in the butcher paper because it's just one less thing to clean up and salt and pepper it well. You could absolutely do other spices, but I'm gonna make a great sauce, so let's keep it kind of plain. So I'm putting it in a grill. It's about 400 degrees. I'm gonna do it about four minutes aside. And remember, there are four sides with these people, so we gotta keep flipping. So let's make broccolini. It's perfect with pork. It cooks so quickly. I've got everything on the grill, but I've run inside to do this because I'm a multitasker. So I've got my pan nice and hot. When I'm doing greens, I like to think of about a tablespoon of oil, and I put a little bit less. I'm gonna throw this all in, nice and hot, and then I'm gonna take some garlic, and I'm just gonna smash a piece of garlic. I don't have time today, so I'm just gonna smash it up. I'm gonna add it to the pan, and then also let's add a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna stir that all up. When I'm timing vegetables, I always do it in two minute increments. What I find is this is just about perfect, and then if it isn't, I do it for another two, but I watch it. So let me turn this off so it's not gonna be overdone by the time the pork is off. Dust off the grill, let's put it on this lovely board, and you know what I like to say now, step away from the meat and let it rest at least 10 minutes. Finished product, so this is definitely a magic elixir, and by the way, if you mix this sauce with mayo together, you get like an incredible dressing for next day for salad. So now let's make a delicious and totally easy sauce. Beautiful ripe peaches, my tomato confit, which is a magic elixir, salt peppered, and a little bit of mustard, and you can leave out the mustard if you don't like it. So if you can get a really ripe peach, that is of course the way to do it. And this is actually very ripe and just perfect. And let's cut it in some pieces, doesn't need to be tiny. And we're gonna put get that in the Cuisinart and get everything whirling. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna put this in. Now, if we did not have a really ripe peach, we would absolutely take the skin off, but this is the moment, and we're gonna add my tomato confit, just a little bit of mustard, salt, and pepper, and let's whirl. So, you know what I thought? Well, it's perfect right now, it's like so perfect, but I was like, oh my gosh, wouldn't this be good with a little bit of heat? So we've got some spicy pepper here, it's red. I like that everything's coordinating, and let's mix that all up. So I'm gonna take a little taste. Oh my gosh, mm, it's great. It's not too strong. It's absolutely delicious. And you're gonna use this as a magic elixir all week with all kinds of things.